What is up, guys? Welcome back to another live in the Gen 7 UU Alpha tier. Uh, this seems to be becoming a very popular tier among players. Uh, a lot of people like it, and so do I. I'm a big fan of this tier. It's really cool. It's basically last gen's OU, but it allows for a lot more things to uh, grow and uh, be tested because of the lack of Landorus T and Chansey specifically. Those are the big two things. Uh, shout outs to Lucas for that one. But uh, yeah, so we're going to be using a team with two Pokemon on it that I haven't really used much. Uh, Wishiwashi and Shinotic. It's kind of a rain team. Uh, and this is Ethan's team. He's paired up a couple of uh, Pokemon with uh, Politoed, Rain Dance, Poly Drizzle, excuse me, uh, Politoed, that really don't appreciate fire. Uh, as you can see here, uh, Shinotic uh, is a grass type. Beware is weak to fire because of its ability. Uh, and then we have a quad weak to fire in Fortress and a Weavile, which is also weak to fire. So he just popped a bunch of things weak to fire on a team with Politoed. So that's really cool. And then Wishy Washy is an absolute beast of a wall breaker with this 140 special attack right here. In the rain, it's it surfs, uh, it scalds, excuse me, hit extremely hard. I'm um, considering switching this out for maybe a stronger water move just to get off a lot of damage. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think this thing actually gets surf. Oh no, it does. There it is. Uh, might swap that out eventually, but I really like it. This thing is really cool. Shinotic is awesome. Uh, not only does it get rain dish, so it's it's benefited by the rain. It also gets uh, a move called Strength Sap, and if you don't know what this is, guys, it's insane. It's a status move, so it doesn't actually inflict any damage, but it heals your HP equal to the, your opponent's attack stat. Not, not its base attack, it's attack stat. So if its attack stat is like um, 300, for example, just, just putting a number out there, you gain back 300 health. That's almost everything. And not only that, it also lowers your opponent's attack by one stage. So that's really cool. We have uh, still decent, the Fortress, uh, Spike, uh, well, Stealth Rocker, Rapid Spinner. It's also got Volt Switch on there for momentum, so very nice. Fortunately, there's no U-Turner on the team. I would have liked to pair that with uh, Fortress, but it's fine. It's really just to be able to get out on its own. And then we have Shiny Weavile, the Jose. Uh, Jose, the Shiny Weavile with Ice UMZ, so it's not taking damage from its uh, Life Orb as usual. So this is really cool. And uh, that's the team, so let's jump into a game, and we'll see how well we can do with it. I'm actually just going to pause it real quick, and we'll be right back. Alright, we got one, guys, and my opponent has an Azelf, which is the uh, primary lead in this tier for some reason. Uh, I'm actually just going to lead off here with um, probably Politoed, honestly. Um, and, no, actually, you know what? No, this is just lead with Fortress. Fortress is good. Because what he's probably going to do is uh, taunt me, prevent me from getting up my rock. So I'm actually going to go for the Volt Switch right here. Uh, let's see if that's what he does. He actually goes for Stealth Rocks. Okay, so good play. Uh, we are going to get right out of here and go directly into... Uh, Wishy Washy should be able to take a hit, but he's going to explode. That's the problem. So I got to think this through. I need to go into something with leftovers. So let's go into... Oh, by, by the way, I didn't mention it before, but we are Assault Vest Beware, which is really cool. Uh, I'm going to go into Wishy Washy because we do get the leftovers uh, after the... Uh, after the Stealth Rock damage. And then we will just switch out it back into Fortress to take the Explosion. It's not going to do too much. And then we have a solid switch into Keldeo in Shinotic. So I'm not too worried about that. Let's see how that goes. Um, let's see. There's Fortress. And he's going to go for the Explosion. There we go. It's only going to do 30 to us, which is very nice. We are going to gain some Leftovers back. And I fully expect Keldeo to come out here as it's the only thing that can straight Oko me. And then we're going to go into Shinotic. Eat up the hit. And then we'll probably go for a Spore on the following turn. So here's the Scald. It does 33. I'm not sure what kind of damage that is. I could calc it right now. Let's check out Shinotic. I know we're fully defensive. So uh, Shinotic, uh, we don't have any Spadef investments. So I'll just put 252 there against Keldeo. Uh, choice spec set. Scald. Yeah, that's definitely specs damage. Okay, so we'll go for Spore. And we'll put something to sleep. It's going to be Scizor. Awesome. So no bullet punching for a while. And uh, I really want to switch back out into Fortress. The problem is he can go right back out into Keldeo. So I'm actually going to go for a Giga Drain right here. As he chooses to stay in and allows me to uh, potentially uh, get a switch out into my Fortress. Which I'm going to do now. Because if that's really his play, then, I mean, I can just switch back into uh, into this thing if he goes back into Keldeo. So it's not too bad. Um, it's looking okay. I think we're, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Really don't understand why he stayed in, but that's okay. Gonna go into Sizzle, into a Fortress. He's gonna stay asleep. And uh, we're going to be able to get off a Rapid Spin right here. Get rid of these rocks once and for all. And that's gonna make Shinotic's life a lot easier with checking uh, Keldeo and whatnot. And then I can just go for Strength Sap every single time, <laughs> which is really cool. So you guys are gonna get to see the power of that. Like even if I'm at 2%, <laughs> I'm just gonna go right back up to full. In comes Keldeo on the Rapid Spin. I'm gonna get rid of the rocks. Gonna go back into Shinotic. 
Uh, we know that it walls it pretty well, even if he goes for... Uh, he could go for Icy Wind. I don't put that past him. Uh, as he goes for Secret Sword, we resist that as well, so not too concerned. And now let me show you guys what Strength Sap can do. Scizor's attack is going to get dropped, and we are going to go back up to full. <laughs> that is crazy. That's such a cool ability. Uh, we're going to go right back into Fortress on this thing. Uh, if he stays asleep, great. If he doesn't, he's just getting a U-turn off anyway. And this thing can wall Keldeo for days, so I'm really not concerned. Uh, also, we know he's Leftovers. He's not Choice Bandit. He's actually going to go into Weavile here. Uh, this is okay because I can go for a Gyro Ball and get off damage on anything on his team, which is really good, uh, including this Weavile. I might even be able to knock it out. Uh, alternatively, I could go into Beware, risk my Assault Vest. Then again, this thing walls uh, cure him pretty well with the Assault Vest, so... It threatens it out immediately. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, I think my better play is just to go for Gyro Ball. If it goes into Blastoise, that's fine. We'll get off a little bit of damage on it. Yep, there we go. And uh, I think we just Volt Switch out. Probably. Uh, actually, I don't even want. I I don't want to even want this to take damage right now. I'm just gonna go right back out into Shenotic. I have a perfect piv pivoting core between these two. You guys aren't even get to see, gonna get to see the rest of the team. This game, it's just gonna be these two switching between themselves. It's awesome. Uh, he might pull out a switch into his Kiram. I don't know. We'll see. He goes uh, he megas and he goes for a Scald. Okay, that doesn't do too much. Uh, I feel like he would go for Ice Beam here, if anything. Uh, let's just go for the Strength Sap. Let's see how that works out. He goes back into Scizor. We're gonna lower this thing's attack once again with the Strength Sap and go right back up to full. And now he's probably going to wake up, so uh, I'm actually just going to go for another Spore right here. If he does wake up, then awesome. If he switches out, then I'm in with Shenotic anyway, and it pretty much walls half his team. Uh, mainly the Keldeo and the, uh, the Blastoise. So he's going to go for Bullet Punch. We're going to go for another uh, Spore right here. He's back asleep. Awesome. And we're going to go for another Strength Sap, making this thing extremely weak. And uh, as you can see, that Bullet Punch did absolutely nothing. <laughs> here comes Kirim. We're going to gain back all our health. From attacking this thing, we're back up to full. <laughs> okay, now I have to actually switch on into something different here. So, let's go into Polytoad and get up the rain. See how that works out. He's probably going to Ice Beam because he's tired of this thing being at full, I would assume. Uh, his Scizor is back asleep, which is awesome for Weavile. We do know that it's leftovers, though, so we have to be very careful. Also, I need to start damaging the Keldeo at some point. So, getting up my rocks would be very, very useful. Uh, he's going to go for the Ice Beam. There it is. That's going to weaken us just a tad. He's going to actually freeze us, which doesn't matter too much on Polytoad. I'm just using it as a rain setter, and I can scald at any given moment uh, and just thaw this thing out, so it's not a big deal. Uh, what I'm going to do here, because I'm fully expecting him to go for the Fusion Bolt, is I'm actually going to double back into Shenotic, just to give him a Life Orb round, and then I'll make a decision from there as to what to do. Uh, because Beware does not appreciate an Ice Beam, so going to have to be very, very careful with that. He's probably going to go for a Fusion Bolt here. I don't put, put it past him. There we go. And we're able to take that like nothing. Awesome. And uh, I could Strength Sap here. I actually have to calc this. Hold on a second. We have 238 Spit F. Uh, can Kirim's Life Orb Ice Beam knock us out? Kirim Black, Mixed Wall Breaker, Ice Beam. Oh, yes, it can. <laughs> okay, I'm not staying in on this. Um... I think my best play is just to go into Fortress, realistically, is max special defense, so it should be able to take any hit from this. Uh, that was a crit, so yeah, uh, about that. Um, <laughs> I really want to get up my rocks, but I don't think it's worth it. Actually, you know what? It is worth it. Let's go for rocks. It forces his Blastoise to Rapid Spin. We can get a Volt Switch off on that thing, which is really nice. So let's just do that. In comes Keldeo, actually, which is awesome. Uh, because now the rocks are up, and I can just freely go back into Shenotic if I choose. Uh, I feel like Scald is his play, so maybe Politoed might even be better, because it'll thaw us out first. Uh, and then we can go for a Toxic. So let's do that. Let's see what his play is. He is going to Scald, which is going to thaw us out. Uh, unfortunately, we did not take that as well as I was hoping we would, so I am just going to double back into Shenotic here as he goes for another Scald. Uh, does 49% actually, but the Rain Dish is going to put us out of range, so that's nice. Uh, and we're just going to go for the Strength Sap again. Um, once again, just getting back a bunch of health. As his Scizor comes back in, we're going to lower this thing's attack once again and get back to 100%. Amazing. And now I'm actually going to take advantage of this thing. We are Damp Rock, so this is the last turn of rain, actually. I'm just going to go out into Fortress here. Uh, this thing can't really touch me. It might have Defog over uh, Rapid Spin on Blastoise. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll go for Volt here because we're, uh, we're slower. And that'll get us into our Beware, if anything. Uh, and then I can fire off a hammer arm, a very strong hammer arm at that. 
And nothing on his team really wants to take it, so we'll just do that. Um, yeah, that's that's definitely my play. This I don't know how well Scizor actually takes this. This is coming off of 383 attack. This is a very powerful hammer arm. As there it is, and okay, so he took it better than I expected him to. Um, I can't really take advantage of this thing. That's the problem. Uh, the good thing is my attack isn't lowered, so let's go for another hammer arm. Let's see if he has the roost. He does, okay. That's fine. Let's go for another hammer right here. Uh, he's playing around with crits as well, so that's fine. I'm just gonna go back into... I'm just gonna go back into, um... Into Fortress here, as he goes for a Defog. Okay, so he does have Defog. Good. So now I know that his Blastoise is more than likely not Rapid Spin. So let's just go for the Stealth Rocks again. He definitely doesn't have uh, Swords Dance. Probably not, anyway. And I'm just gonna go for, an for another layer. Uh, I'm expecting him to Defog again. There we go, and we're just going to keep getting back up our rocks. You have fewer defogs than I have rocks, buddy. So, I don't know what you're doing in here, but you're going to let me get a back up to full. So, there's Keldeo. That's fine. We're going to go right back out into uh, Shenotic. If he pulls a switch back into Scizor, that's fine. I can just sport and then Strength Sap it on the next turn. He's just going to go for the Scald. He's playing off the burn, which is the smart thing to do, and he finally gets it. Uh, and we are actually going to try to pressure this Scizor right now. Um, I know that he's pr he pr he's probably not speed invested at all, which is why I really want to go out into uh, Politoed here. There we go. And now I'm going to fire off a Scald and try to get a burn of my own. And if he goes for a Defog, then I can Encore him on the following turn. So that's fine too. Let's see what he chooses to do. I'm, I'm expecting him to have U-turn as well. And if he's not speed invested, he hits 166, which is slower than Politoed. That's really good. I need to get my Weavile in at some point. And like I said, I need to start damaging this Keldeo. At a given moment, I don't know when, but I need to start doing that. Um, he's going to switch out, actually, into his Blastoise, which is fine. As we will get a Scald off on that. Potential burn. Nope, not going to happen this turn. That's fine. I can just go right back out into... Uh, mm, not in the rain. Not at this point. I'm going to go out into Wishy Washy, actually. Because Wishy Washy is the best thing that can take this right now. I don't want to risk Shenotic's health because of uh, Keldeo. Keldeo is way too much of a threat. This is a very long game. Very draggy. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to start getting damage off on things, but I'm going to need to find a way. We are Swords Dance Weavile, though, so that should be uh, one method of doing it. He actually also has Rapid Spin. Okay, so he has Defog and Rapid Spin for some reason. He's re He really doesn't want Hazards up, guys. I'm going to go for a Scald. Let's see how much it's going to do. We have a lot of Spit F, just not such great HP. <clears throat> so let's see. Well, he does 27. That's not too bad. Uh, our Scald is actually going to do more than a Mega Blastoise. Is. Wow, that's incredible. That's so cool. All right, let's go for another Scald. He's going to go for the Dark Pulse. He's going to do a little bit more. He's not going to get the flinch, luckily, though. And his Blastoise is going to live on one, unfortunately. Um, I really don't want to switch anything in right now on a potential Scald. So let's just go for another one of our own. Uh, if he flinches me here, then that's bad because his Blastoise is still alive. But, I mean, that's one Hazard Setter essentially, essentially gone. So that's really cool. Um, and if I get the, the attack lowering on Scizor and I get my rocks back up, I think I have to set up an SD at some point. He's actually going to hit us for a lot more damage that time. Don't know why I did that much. But anyway, we're able to el eliminate his uh, his Blastoise right there. Weavile is going to come in. That's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm actually not going to allow this thing to get a kill. Uh, we are going to go out into... Actually, I don't need this anymore. That's fine. I'm just going to go for uh, Scald. He's going to go for Pursuit anyway, so that ends up working out. Now we're going to go into, um, into Fortress, and we're going to just Volt Switch out. Uh, because I want to get in something to pressure the Scizor. Actually, not yet, not yet, not yet. We're going to go for uh, Stealth Rocks first. Why? Because my rain is uh, is still up. So if I Volt Switch out now, I'm not going to be able to get my rain back up, which is something I really want to do. So he's going to go out actually uh, into his Keldeo, all right? Uh, we already know that uh, Shenotic walls this pretty well. However, um, I am burned now, so I have to be very careful about that. About when I bring it in. I'm at 67.5. How much is this Skull doing again? Let's check. Keldeo choice specs. It's doing between 29 to 35. So if he gets two high rolls, he can knock me out for sure. So I think we have to risk it anyway. We have to go into uh, Solid Fingers. And uh, he's going to get a 33 roll, which means he needs an absolute max roll to knock us out on the following turn. So we're going to go for the Strength Sap. It's going to lower the attack of something that comes in. And uh, it's going to give me back all my health. So that's really nice. If he stays in as well, that's that's just great. That's awesome. Uh, he's, uh, he is going to switch out into Scizor. That's fine. Uh, we are going to go for the Strength Sap and get back all of our health, like I said before. <laughs> We're back up to full. This is a never-ending cycle. How many of these do I have? 16? Okay, that's pretty good. 
Let's go back out into Politoed, put some pressure again on his team. Uh, he's probably just going to go for the Defog. There it is. And we are going to actually, I think I want a Toxic now. Um, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Let's go for a Scald. Uh, as he brings in his Keldeo. Cool. Can we burn this time? That'd be cool. Uh, as we do get the burn. Awesome. Okay, so this thing is going to start getting whittled really, really fast. Awesome. Okay, and now with a few more burn rounds, it should be in range of a plus two uh, Icicle Crash from Weavile, which is also really good. There's the Scald. It's going to do 50 to us, which is uh, not great, but not terrible either. 51. What's the, what's the max roll in the rain? 53. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to play around with this roll right here. <laughs> it's very, it's a very, very dangerous roll. Um, and if I lose this thing, then I might just lose to Keldeo. Straight up. Um, hmm. How do I want to approach this? Do I want to just let Politoed go down? Now, you know what? We're going to risk it. We're going to go for the Strength Sap. Let's see if he risks the Scald. If he doesn't, then it, once again, my Shenotic is back up to full. Uh, he does risk it. He doesn't get the roll, though, and that's going to be not as much health back as I would have liked, actually. That's kind of bad. Um, as we are back down to 51 once again. I probably should have just Giga Drained, uh, but I expected him to switch. Huh. That's really not good. All right, don't get the roll again. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't get it. All right, so Keldeo is gone. We uh, Giga Drain it, and we are back up to a not good amount of health, but we don't need this thing anymore. It was only here to wall Keldeo, so that's awesome. As uh, Weavile is going to come in, it is going to be able to knock me out with a nice move, uh, and like I said before, I don't need this thing anymore, so I'm just going to go for a Spore in case he does anything else. He goes for the Ice Punch. Okay, we know he's Life Orb, which is really good. We're going to go back into Fortress here, and we are just actually going to go for the Volt Switch. Uh, I don't care if he knocks me off, it's fine. I have a Beware in the back that puts on a lot of pressure on this thing, as well as his two other members, so that's really good. Uh, Politoed has to be my, my win con here. He's going to go into Kirim. That's fine. We're going to get a, a Volt Switch off on that. And... What is... Excuse me. What is... Hold on. This is a different server. This is my YouTube... Let's go off of my YouTube channel. Let's go to Z Moves, And I want to see... Icicle Crash with the Icium Z. Where is the ICMZ? It's Sub-Zero something. Sub-Zero Slammer. There we go. Let's find out how much damage this actually does. Uh, Icicle Crash goes to 160. Can that take out Kirim from a Weavile? Let's see. Kirim, the standard spread for the Mixed Wall Breaker versus Weavile. All-out attacker, <clears throat> excuse me, without a Life Orb, but its Icicle Crash is base 160. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. Okay, interesting. Um, I also have a, yeah, I have this thing right here. You know what? <laughs> let's just, let's just use this. Uh, let's go for the hammer arm. We know that his, that his, uh, scissor can switch in on it. Uh, he goes for the outrage. That is not able to take us out. And, uh, hammer arm is going to be able to knock out the Kirim. So that's yet another threat gone. The scissor is the big issue though. It's really the biggest issue on his team because, I mean, I guess it can't really do anything to fortress and I'm just going to wear it down with, uh, with gyro balls, I guess, but. He's going to go into Weavile, actually, surprisingly. Um, I'm just going to go out into Fortress because I don't see him clicking knockoff. There's the Ice Punch. I think, yeah, this thing is Life Orb. We already know that. And I think I can just Volt here, actually. Volting is fine. I would have knocked this thing off a while ago <laughs> if I was my opponent. We're actually going to get a crit on the Scizor. We're going to go back out into Politoed. And we are going to attempt to get a burn right here with the Scald. If we manage to do that, that's awesome. Uh, as we do not, he's going to go for the Bug Bite and knock us out. Bug Bite, huh? Okay. Um, now, the question is, to a Scizor, or from a Scizor, uh, from a OU Defog set with no attack investment, can Bullet Punch take out Weavile? No, it can't. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, ability, wait, hold on. Not messing around with that. Technician. Technician Bullet Punch still cannot do the job. The problem is knockoff does absolutely nothing to this thing. Huh. Yeah, that's an issue. Okay. Well, what we're gonna do is we are going to... Hmm. How do I... How do I beat this? That is the problem. How do I beat this? Okay. I gotta go into this. I think I can take a bullet punch. I'm pretty sure. We have double, H, uh, double defense, basically. And I'm going to attempt... We know that we're slower. If only this thing had a little more speed. 
I'm going to attempt to paralyze this. He's going to go for the bullet. That's not going to take us out. We're going to go for the thunder punch. We're actually going to get a crit on that turn, which is pretty big. Uh, I'm just going to fire off a hammer arm. As he's going to go for another bullet. Okay, amazing. Awesome. So he loses now as long as he doesn't crit me. I just have to go for the knockoff. His bullet punch shouldn't knock me out from here. It shouldn't, in theory. <laughs> Let's hope he's not attack invested, because then it could. And he's not. Okay, cool. So he actually got a max roll on that turn, by the way, um, <laughs> which is fantastic. Yeah, he got an absolute max roll. 96. Awesome. Okay, cool. So uh, in comes Weavile, and uh, we don't even need to predict anything. We're just going to go for knockoff. He's going to go for Ice Shard. That's fine. Uh, we're just going to go into our fortress now. He needs a freeze on Ice Punch. So that's, that's like literally his only way to win. And even at that, I don't think he would be able to wear me down fast enough. He finally goes for knockoff and reveals it. But we are just going to go for the gyro ball and knock out the Weavile. And finally, 20 minutes in, <laughs> we take the first game. Let's move on. I know that was long for you guys. Hopefully the rest of the games aren't as long. Uh, we get a uh, hail offense, which is awesome. I really wanted to play against this at some point. And uh, I think we're just going to lead off with, uh, you know, <laughs> with Fortress. As he leads off with Aerodactyl. Fantastic. Okay. We're going to go for the um, for the Gyro Ball turn one. This thing might have Fire Blast, actually. That'd be interesting. Uh, he doesn't have any way to knock himself out. This thing doesn't get Explosion or anything like that. So I'm just going to go for Rapid Spin. As he goes for Taunt, that doesn't prevent me from Rapid Spinning, man. Sorry. <laughs> Goodbye. All right. There go the rocks. And uh, his Aerodactyl is down. This might be a little bit of a faster game. In comes Flygon. Uh, probably to Dragon Dance. I'm not sure. Let's just go for the gyro ball. He's got fire punch. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, here's the gyro ball. Um, and I'm going to keep this thing around because rocks are... I mean, they're okay. They're not amazing. But uh, we can definitely switch in Politoed, especially if he's choice, which I'm thinking he's probably scarfed. And that's probably Specs Rotom in the back. As he's going to go for another fire punch. Beautiful. We're able to eat that up. And now he has to risk a Scald Burn on something. In fact, I'm just going to go for Toxic because I expect the Rotom. He actually goes Nine Tails. Okay. Gets rid of my Rain, uh, which is going to hurt me with the Hail, of course. And um, what do I want to do here? He might go for Freeze Dry. That's definitely a possibility. I can't really switch in Beware because as much as this thing is Assault Vested, I don't think it can take a Freeze Dry into Moon Blast. I'm not sure, though. Uh, Yeah, this thing's a problem. <laughs> Let's go for the Encore. He goes for the Moon Blast. Awesome. Okay. So we're able to Encore him into Moon Blast. Uh, and now we can go out into our Fortress and uh, eat up the Moon Blast. He might switch out. I can definitely see that. That's definitely a possibility. As he does switch out into his Flygon. I'm not even chancing it. I'm just going right back out into, um, into Politoed, getting back up my Rain. And let's see what he does. He just goes for a Dragon Dance. Okay, so that's a little bit more threatening now. Um, what do I need the least? I think I need to keep my Rain intact. Then again, this team is very slow. So, not necessarily. Um, yeah, let's go for a Scald. His Earthquake is not going to be able to take us out because Flygon is weak. And we get a crit <laughs> on the Scald and we're able to knock him out. Uh, yeah, that was that was ridiculous. Why was that not able to take me out? <laughs> I'm not too scared of this thing because I do have the um, uh, the Beware in the back. So I'm actually just going to go for the Parish Song here. As he goes for a Waterfall, great play. And now we're going to... Actually, this thing walls this pretty well. Let's go into this. <laughs> and let's go for a uh, for Spore right here. He might switch into his Rotom, but Rotom can't hit me too hard either. It's probably going to be forced to Volt switch out, so... There's the Ninetales. Oh, Ninetales is toxic, right? Shoot. Okay. Um, yeah, this is an this is an issue. Let's go into um, let's go into Fortress. As this thing goes for an Aurora Veil. Okay. Interesting. I don't think he can knock me out with anything, so I'm actually just gonna go for Stealth Rocks here. There's the Blizzard. Yep, that doesn't knock me out at all. And now we have our Rocks up, which is fantastic, because that's gonna limit this Ninetales switches and its ability to get up Aurora Veils. Uh, he did 21 to me, which means the next Blizzard would probably be able to take me out. So I'm gonna actually going to switch out into uh, Wishy Washy here. I'm going to keep Fortress as a sack. He's going to Encore. Awesome. Great, great, great. And uh, we are just going to go for a... I feel like Resting, actually. Might be my best play. Because he's going to attack this turn no matter what. Because uh, he can't come back in on Rocks. He has Sand Slash, though. That might be a Spinner. So maybe just going for Scald is better. He clearly doesn't have freeze dry. We know his full move set. 
Um, how much did he take from that toxic round? When did he switch in? So this is 6, 12, 18. He's going to take 24. So yeah, let's go for a rest. He's going to Moonblast us. We're going to get back up to full health through the rest. And he should go down to this toxic damage. Let's see. There it is. Awesome. So now I just have to wait until his hail is gone. He's going to go out into Rotom. That's fine. That's exactly... Actually, I can just go into this. I don't even need to go into Rotom. He goes for the Volt Switch. That's going to do absolutely nothing. In comes the threat, though, that is Sand Slash. I'm, a, I'm hoping it's Life Orb, because that's going to be a lot more easy to deal with. Let's just go into Fortress and sack it off at this point. I don't need it anymore. I need Shenotic a lot more because of that Sharpedo. He's going to... Okay. That is scary. <laughs> Uh, we are just going to go for a gyro ball here because I can't play around with this thing anymore. He goes for an earthquake. That's fine. Uh, the sand, the, uh, the sand, the, uh, hail is gone though. So that means that we've all can now outspeed this thing. Uh, I do have decent defense with beware, but I, eh, I'm not too confident about, uh, about using that to wall this. Then again, I don't need it for Sharpedo necessarily. It would be good for the, um, for the Rotom though. I, yeah, I'm going to keep this for Rotom. I'm going to keep this for Sharpedo. We're going to go out into Wishy Washy, and we are going to click Sleep Talk because we are quite bulky on both sides, on the physical and the specially defensive side. He's going to go for an Icicle Crash. That's going to do a lot. That's a resisted hit, too. Uh, and we are going to get the Ice Beam. Okay, not bad. Pretty good. Uh, that should put him after a Life Orb hit in range of knockoff, in theory. I hope. Uh, <laughs> let's go for Sleep Talk. He's gonna go for the Iron Head, that's... Okay, so he doesn't... I don't know why he's not going for Earthquake. That's weird. Uh, but he actually flinches us on that turn. Okay, that, now he's definitely in range of a knockoff, though. So I'm just gonna go for Sleep Talk again. And, uh, I mean, we're a lot weaker now, but... I, he should have gone that, for that two turns ago. But anyway, let's go into Jose. This is all Jose's gonna be doing, is basically knocking this thing out at this point. With a knockoff. We're not Life Orb, though, so we do get to retain our health. Which is awesome. And, uh, if he goes into Rotom, I'm clicking Ice Shard. <laughs> I'm not clicking anything else because I'm under the impression that he's actually scarfed. In comes Sharpedo, though. Sharpedo can def definitely knock me out. Um, let's go into Solid Fingers right here. I don't expect him to go for the Psychic Fangs on this turn. We uh, resist the two other hits, and unless he has Poison Fang, he's not taking us out, so this is fine. He goes for the Psychic... He actually does make the play and goes for Psychic Fangs. Okay, great. Uh, let's go for Strength Sap, as we'll be able to lower this thing's attack. Uh, the tough, uh, yeah, that, and, uh, we get a, a lot of health back, basically. Yep, back up to full, lowers attack, awesome. Let's go for the Moonblast right here, as it hits both members. Uh, he goes for Psychic Fangs again, that's not enough. And Moonblast is able to take out Sharpedo, fantastic. Yo, Shenotic coming through, man. Shenotic's getting thumbnail, absolutely, 100%. Our opponent forfeits. We're gonna get one more game. I know it's a long live, guys, but you know what? It's worth it with this team. It's so good. Where are we now on the ladder? I, ch I check this every single time, and every time I'm done recording, I end up going on tilt. It's crazy. 1332. Let's see. Where is that? Ladder. UU. 1332. Where are we here? Uh, we are 109th. Not bad. Okay. We can definitely work our way up. Where's Verd? I know Verd was all the way up here. Okay, he went on tilt too. There he is. <laughs> 1438. Who else do we know up here? Um... I've played against these two guys right here. Uh, this is the guy that Ethan beat that I saw the replay for. Lysergic's been on every ladder. Okay, we got uh, an interesting team. All right, to say the least. Let's lead here with Fortress again. As he's going to lead off with his Azelf. Fantastic. Uh, we are going to go for the Rapid Spin turn one as he goes for Taunt. That's fine. And uh, I could have Volt Switched there <laughs> into my uh, Weavile and pressured something immensely. But uh, that's fine. We're going to go for the... I'm going to go for the uh, Gyro Ball right here. As he goes for Stealth Rocks, that's fine. Uh, we can take a uh, an Explosion, no problem. I'm just going to go for Rapid Spin again. He's actually going to go for Knock Off. Does he even have it? Does he have the Explosion? Let's go for Rapid Spin again. If he has Fire Blast, that's fine. I don't mind losing this. This doesn't do too much, this game. Like, looking at his team, the only thing that it realistically walls is a Alolan Muck. He's going to go for Taunt again. That's fine. I'm just wearing him down with Rapid Spins. I'm going to keep clicking it. Like, there's no reason not to keep clicking it at this point. Uh, I have something that hard walls his... Uh, well, not hard walls, but does a pretty good job at walling his Darmanitan and Politoed. He's going to go for Stealth Rocks. I mean, you're not getting them up, man. I'm, I'm not letting you get up your Stealth Rocks. You're going to die to my Rapid Spins. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going for it. Actually, you know what? He's clicked Taunt twice. Let's go for Stealth Rocks this time. That would be hilarious if he actually doesn't click Taunt. 
<laughs> that would be fantastic. Okay, he actually clicks it. Alright, that's fine. I'm gonna go for rapid spin again. He's gonna go for ox. I mean, you're just going to die to my rapid spins. I don't understand what you're doing. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Like, zero sense. Okay, well, goodbye, Zelf. No more rocks. Awesome. Okay, so Weavile switches in for free every time. Cool. So, uh, we have a hard wall to his Sharpedo. Starmie comes in. I'm kind of scared of this, so I'm just going to switch out into Politoed, actually. Uh, get up my rain, which is not great. <laughs> uh, I'm giving him a, a boosted Hydro Pump. He's Life or Banalytic, which means his next attack will do less. Uh, we will go for the... Hmm. I'm expecting Psychic here, but I really don't want to switch in to, uh, to Weavile. He might Thunderbolt as well. He's actually going to forfeit. What? Okay. Um, Alright, well, we'll get one more. We'll get one more. If we can pull out four wins in an episode, it's been a while I haven't done that, actually. I don't think I've done that in the Gen 7 uh, meta yet in Sun and Moon. So, that'd be really cool. Let's go and lead off with Fortress again because he's got those two common leads, Arrow and Azelf. I'm expecting Azelf to be the uh, the Stealth Rocker and Aerodactyl to be Mega. Uh, good news is... Actually, I don't have much for Aerodactyl. That thing's a huge threat. There's a Zelf. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna go for Rapid Spin. He goes for Flamethrower. Wow. He has it. Crazy. Um, and now I'm just going to go for a Rapid Spin again. Because if he wants to get up his rocks, then I'm gonna keep getting them away. And then Weavile is gonna come in and knock something off. So I lose absolutely nothing by doing that. He's gonna go into his Tentacruel. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna click Volt Switch here as he goes for Skull. That's cool. We're going to switch out well, not switch, obviously, but uh, I'm going to go out into Beware here. Because we haven't really gotten a chance to see it other than Thunder Punch crits on uh, on Scizor. So let's go for the Double Edge. As he goes for Toxic Spikes, which is fine. Uh, it's not great, but I can deal with it. Um, he's going to take a lot from that Double Edge, and we are going to go for a another one. No problem. As long as he doesn't burn us here. We're fine. We're able to take out the Tentacruel, which is fantastic. I don't have my uh, my Hazard Remover anymore, but it's looking like Weavile can clean. I just need to get the Swords Dance off, and I need to find the exact moment to do it. He goes into his Azelf. Now, the thing about Azelf is it dies to a Double Edge. However, if he goes for a Flamethrower, that might actually knock us out, because we're weak to it. We have a lot of HP, though. Let's go for the Double Edge. He's going to go for the Stealth Rocks. Awesome. Okay. So we're able to take out the Azelf right there. Um, I don't know if he thinks that I'm like choice or what I am, but <laughs> I really hope he goes into... Okay, no, he goes into Aerodactyl. That's the correct play. Okay, so how do I deal with this? Uh, actually, Wishy Washy can put in a lot of work too. Because it's Rest Talk, so it's not. it doesn't care about the Toxic Spike. Alright, let's go for an Ice Punch. Let's hope he goes for the Holm Claws. Goes for the Aerial Ace. It is able to take us out. That's a really cool animation, man. I'm going to go out into uh, Wishy Washy right here. And I really just want to click Ice Beam because the rest of his team is weak to Ice Beam. But I know that Scald is probably my better play. So let's do that. And uh, if I can get some damage off on this thing, I, th I think I need it at about 70% for Ice Shard to kill, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's like recalling my game against, who was it? Can't remember now. But Scald is going to be able to take out the arrow. That's awesome. And... Uh, Unfortunately, something is going to... Yeah, this thing is going to kill us right here. So hard. <laughs> like, it's just going to destroy us. Uh, Weavile looking like it can do a lot of work, though. All right. Let's go for the Scald again. He goes for Frustration. That's fine. Um, you. Are you bulky enough to take a Frustration? Let's find out. Uh, Diggersby. Because I know he's probably banded. Uh, physical Attacker. Give it a Choice Band. Choice Banded versus what are we thinking about polytoad polytoad oh you support uh I'm th i think i'm max fizz dev actually uh bold because i'm 273 so let's see Whoop, wrong thing bold yeah 273 i can take one i can definitely take one let's go out into uh into polytoad right now let's go for the scald if he wants to switch out into dragonite he risks it getting burned and if he wants to set up i can encore him so this is fine this is my play every single time. I can definitely take one banded, um, one banded return. So let's do that. And Shinodic's not putting any any work this game, guaranteed. Actually, um, Strength Sap is kind of like 
uh, chop kick on Serena. So, okay, he goes into Decidueye on a Scald, uh, gets burned, which is fantastic. And I can go for a an Encore here as he goes for Leaf Blade. Okay, that's going to knock us down pretty low. However, he is locked into it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow my Politoed to drop here. Now, I need to calc something. Decidueye. Decidueye uh, versus Weavile. Weavile without a Life Orb. How much do you do with a Leaf Blade if you have no attack investment, which it seems like you do? 51. Oh, wow. Okay, still crazy. Um, okay. We are going to keep this as a sack. We're going to go into Solid Fingers right here because we have the Rain Dish. As he goes for another Leaf Blade, that's not going to do too much. He gets a crit, actually. That's that's fine, though. Uh, and we should be slower than this, absolutely. And we'll go for the Strength Sap. As he goes for a Z-Move, which is Bloom Doom. Grass Move. Not concerned. <laughs> strength Sap give, gets us back up to full, lowers his attack, which is fantastic. And now what I can do is I can just keep going for the Strength Sap, I think. We actually have more HP than Politoed. Uh, no, we have more defense, excuse me, than Politoed. But I don't think we can take a return. Huh. Let's just keep going for Strength Sap, actually. Because there's nothing he can do to us. We're just taking the same amount of damage every turn. So, uh, he's going to go for Leaf Blade. Doesn't matter. We're just going to keep lowering his attack. And uh, he's going to, like, gradually die to burn. Like, is the intention right here. Uh, we're just going to keep going for it. He goes for a Spirit Shackle. Finally goes for a different move. Uh, he shouldn't have been hitting me with grass moves to begin with. I'm a grass type. But uh, his attack is so low that it doesn't even matter anymore. Uh, but I, I just have to keep clicking. Um, I have to keep clicking Strength Zap. Because if there's any chance at all that Shinoda can live a return, then I'm going to take that chance. You know? I'm going to keep myself at 88%. That's that's all we're going to do. Is just we're going to... Uh, well, it's not going to be 88, I think. No, it is. It still is because it's 12 regardless from the poison. There's the shackle. I think he's just trying to get a crit at this point. I'm just trying to stay at full health, basically. Uh, he has, okay, we got six more turns of this. Don't worry guys, it'll be over soon. Uh, either way, even if he crits me, I still go back up to full because his attack stat is high enough for me to heal all my HP. Um, wait, why am I that low now? Is it because of the rain? Uh, oh, it's because his attack gradually went down. Oh no. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I've been lowering his attack the entire time, which gave me less and less recovery. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind with Shenotic. Uh Ethan had mentioned it, but I completely forgot about that. It's fine, though. Uh, if he goes into Digger's B, then... I, again, I'm pretty sure it's banded, which means that I can go into Weavile, and I can fire off an Icicle Crash at that point. And how much does Dragonite's E-Speed do to me? Dragonite... Uh, let's see. Let's just say Choice Banded against Weavile. Uh, Extreme Speed does 74 to 87, so I would need to lower him to minus 1, right? To live? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sub-Zero Slammer should do the job, right? Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. 160 base power. That's what I'm talking about. Z-Moves coming through. Okay. So, if he goes into Diggersby here, what I need to do is I need to sack off my Politoed. Because then I get to go into Weavile, I get to fire off an Icicle Crash, which should kill Diggersby no problem. As we'll see right now. Diggersby. And if he goes into Dragonite, then he has to go for E-Speed. And E-Speed won't knock out Shenotic. Uh And then I can Strength Sap until he has no attack left, and I can Spore him as well. So, we are going to switch out here into Politoed. We're going to allow him to knock us out. <clears throat> And then we're going to go into Jose. Jose has to come through and hit an Icicle Crash right now. Because if it doesn't, we're in trouble. So, uh, let me just see something. Uh, base 85 should still be able to take this thing out. No problem. Yep. Uh, I was knockoff doing? Not enough. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Let's go for the Icicle Crash. We don't have a choice. He has to stay in, though. He, abso he absolutely has to stay in. So, that's good. And then if he doesn't click E-Speed on Weavile... Uh, if he's not banded, by the way, with Dragonite, just so you guys see. Uh, Dragonite, where's standard Dragonite? Dragon Dance, right? E-Speed doesn't do enough to us to knock us out, so we'll, we'll kill him with the Sub-Zero Slammer. So that's all we need to do. All we need to do is land this Icicle Crash. It is, okay, he's going to switch out into his Dragonite, surprisingly enough. He's going to live on one, 
and he's going to gain a wow wow crazy so i should have clicked sub zero slammer there huh he's gonna go for the e speed yep and he's gonna be able to knock us out here i can't believe he lived on one that's insane i mean it's i needed an absolute max roll to knock him out so that makes sense had i gone for sub zero slammer there though I really didn't think he would be weakness policy. We're going to go for the strength sap. E-speed is easily going to be able to take us out at plus two. That's going to be the game. Got a little bit greedy there. Probably shouldn't have played a, uh, a last game, but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, we're still pretty high on the ladder, and I really enjoy using this team. If you guys want to use it alongside me, I will be leaving a paste bin in the description down below. I'm going to ask Ethan first. So if it's not there, it's because Ethan said no. Go blame him and go spam his channel with mean comments. I'm kidding. Don't do that. It's fine, but... Uh, yeah, so if you if you want to use this alongside me, it's a really cool team. You just got to get used to using it. We've got three wins, one loss today, so that balances out. It's fine. I'm, uh, I'm perfectly okay with that. That's what I'm used to on my episodes. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.